Hello. Today I wanted to walk through how to create a zip file for multiple memory streams in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. In my test scenario, I wanted to grab all of the customers and vendors from a particular environment, write them to a CSV file, and then store them within a zip file to download for an end user. I first created a test form that had an export zip button. Uh, I set the clicked uh, event behind the scenes to actually perform the actions that I'm looking to uh, perform here. So you can see that I have my customer and vendor table. I go through and select the account num and bank account for both the customers and vendor since so or them to the an array list. In my case here, uh, I do the first part of this in X++. I then switch over and actually perform the generation of the CSV and zip file in .NET. Uh, the reasons for that are that uh, one, uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable in .NET programming. Two, you get all of the NuGet packages uh, that exist within the .NET uh, ecosystem. And three, the way that .NET handles collections is a little bit cleaner, I think, than X++. So you can see that I've created my array list here. I then pass it over to my .NET uh, method over here called generate zip. If we jump over to uh, that particular piece, we can see that the generate zip here uh, first um, takes our array list, converts them to actual lists for the uh, customers and vendors. Uh, I then created a uh, helper method or a helper class here called CSV file which actually is going to store uh, the name of the file that I want to save as well as the memory stream content of it. Uh, the reason I do it this way is because uh, I can then go through, create all of these different memory streams for the different uh, files that I want to write to and then use those memory streams later on as part of the wrapping memory stream uh, for the zip file. So if you look for the customers and vendors, the logic for this is going to be very similar. We're going to use a using statement around the memory stream. We're actually going to create a stream writer. We're going to use the CSV writer, which is actually from a NuGet package called CSV helper to actually write the records from our uh, list to a CSV file. Um, once we have that CSV file itself uh, written, in this case, we can then, uh, that's written to the actual uh, stream writer. We can then utilize that uh, memory stream that it gets written to uh, in our CSV file here. So you can see that we basically do this logic here to write the contents of the CSV to the um, cuss stream in this case. We then store that memory stream in the CSV file object along with the uh, name of the um, file that we would like to store this as and we save that to our list of CSV files. We do the same thing on the vendor side, um, the exact same logic in that case. And then once we are done with our the actual files that we'd like to save to the, to the zip file, we actually create the zip file itself. Uh, we first create a memory stream. We don't put a using around this. The reason for that is because we need to pass this open memory stream back to the X++ side to actually uh, write it back to, uh, or actually have it download to an end user. Uh, so we actually close this memory stream on the X++ side. Uh, so we just create a memory stream uh, using the default constructor. Uh, we then use the using statement around the zip archive object here, which is uh, the uh, Microsoft uh, out of the box zip archive object. Uh, we hand it that memory stream. And then within the zip archive here, we loop through our CSV files that we created and we create an entry within that zip archive using the file name and then the entry stream, we actually write the contents uh, to a byte array and then store that or write that uh, byte array to the entry stream, right? So for every file, uh, CSV file that we have, we want to take the memory stream, convert it to a byte array, and then write that byte array to the that particular entry within the zip file. Once that is written uh, to the zip file all within this memory stream, we can then return the memory stream back to the X++ side. So if we look at the X++ side again now, we can see that we actually get back a memory stream uh, from our uh, generate zip file, our generate zip method. Um, and the reason we we wanted that to get the memory stream back is because there's a method within X++ called send file to user under the file 
uh, namespace here. Uh, and that actually takes in, if we look at this, actually takes in an IO stream uh, object, uh, which memory stream implements. So uh, memory stream is an IO stream. And so we can actually then send this back to the user. So in this case, we give it the stream that we want to write. We give it the name of the file that we would like to save. In this case, this, we're going to call it cusvin.zip. And then we actually remember we have to close that stream uh, because we left it open uh, from the .NET side. So the way that this would look uh, once you actually run it, if we bring the form back, is that if we go ahead and click export zip here, this is actually going to go out and perform uh, the uh, grabbing the customers and vendors, storing them. You can see it downloaded to this cusvin.zip. If we actually open up our downloads here and extract this, you can see that uh, we actually have the customers and vendors uh, files underneath this, both in CSV format. If we open up the customers and vendors, um, in this case, we're able to actually see uh, that they have successfully been written. Um, we can uh, make these look a little bit nicer here, right? Um, but you can see as we scroll through this that the uh, customer account and bank account have been written to each of these, right? Uh, if we scroll down a little bit further here on the vendor side. So you can see that the, the correct data has been written to this um, and it's been delivered back to the end user. So in this case, uh, we're able to see that we can uh, actually use memory streams uh, to actually write that data back to a zip file to the user. Um, so the reason I wanted to show this was because the, a lot of the examples that I found online of, of creating a zip file in, dot, uh, in X++ were files that already existed um, that were actually written to disk somewhere. Uh, in this case, these files exist only in memory, right? There's no actually writing this to the disk at any point in time. Um, and so this um, is a little bit different approach than the other uh, options that I've seen. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you ever have run into a scenario where you have to do this, um, thank you for watching.